<clears throat> right now you get a big long email and it's like a homework assignment, right? You are requiring that I write to you back. Having to think of something clever every time you reply to an email. Oh, boy, it's giving me back pain just thinking about it. I have a emotional back pain. In real life, we have a thing called uh, laughing or smiling and nodding. Sometimes you just want to acknowledge right away, I got your email, I loved it. At some point in the future, I'll write you back. Um, can't do it right now. What I would like to see is a button on email that just says star, or a smiley face, or a thumbs up. Oh man, I would dig that. If someone is looking to be liked, they'll interpret that as liked. If someone is looking for acknowledgement of receipt, they'll interpret that as acknowledgement of receipt. If someone is looking for you to verify plans that you made, they'll interpret that as verifying the plans that you made. How many times have you said, uh, I emailed Janice on Tuesday. I've heard nothing from her. It is Thursday. She is really pissing me off. I mean, I'm gonna go at her car with my keys if I don't hear something by Friday. Turns out Janice loved the email, thought it was hilarious, printed it out, and then she got called off to go to um, lunchtime yoga never replied, if only we had a fave button, Janice wouldn't have had to have her car keyed. I need a name for it, don't I? No. Thumbs up is already taken. Star is already taken. But what's not taken? Do you want to drive? What do we call it? Cool. You just cool things. What I'm doing right now is patenting it um, by publishing it. Uh, this is mine. But someone else needs to do it because I don't know how. So I would just like for there to be a check uh, delivered to me when someone else does it. I can be reached at uh, jhamblin at theatlantic.com. But I might not reply. What is going to happen to all the emails that we leave behind unanswered? Our kids are going to have to deal with them. I don't know the origin of that sign. Hopefully it's not something sexual. Is it? You know, I think in some cultures, that's a, it's an offensive gesture. Which? Okay, I'm looking this up. Title of the article is Innocent Gestures That Mean Rude Things Abroad. In Brazil, Greece, and Turkey, this gesture can be taken as highly vulgar. You are telling someone they resemble a similarly shaped part of the human body. Hmm.